Patagonia is a region in southern Argentina and Chile extending from the Andes to the Atlantic. There are many accounts of a legendary race of extremely tall people that were first mentioned by Ferdinand Magellan and his crew who claim to have seen them while exploring the coastline of South America in the 1520s. Antonio Pigafetta, a crew member and chronicler of Magellan's expedition, wrote about their encounter, and I quote, One day we suddenly saw a naked man of giant stature on the shore of the port, dancing, singing, and throwing dust on his head. The captain, Magellan, sent one of our men to the giant so that he might perform the same actions as a sign of peace. Having done that, the man led the giant to where the captain was waiting. When the giant was in the captain in our presence, he marveled greatly and made signs with one finger raised upward, believing that we had come from the sky. He was so tall that we had reached only to his waist, and he was well proportioned. The captain named the people of this sort Patagoni. Many other accounts of giants in South America followed. In 1579, Sir Francis Drake's ship chaplain Francis Fletcher wrote about encountering very tall Patagonian natives saying that, and I quote, Magellan was not altogether deceived in naming them giants, for they generally differ from the common sort of men, both in stature, strength of body, and also in the hideousness of their voice. In the 1590s, William Adams, an Englishman aboard a Dutch ship rounding Tierra del Fuego, reported a hostile encounter between his ship's crew and abnormally tall and powerful natives. In 1766, Captain John Byron had circumnavigated the world in his HMS Dolphin and word had leaked that the crew had seen 10-foot-tall giants in South America. Uh, the official account of Byron's voyage, appearing in 1773, recounts, and I quote, When we came within a little distance from the shore, we saw, as near as I can guess, about 500 people, some on foot, but the greater part on horseback, one of them, who afterwards appeared to be the chief, came towards me. He was of a gigantic stature, and these people may indeed more properly be called giants than tall men. If this mythical race was real, what happened to them? Where did they go? Were the Patagonian giants troglodytes? The marble caves of Patagonia, Chile, also called the Marble Cathedral, are considered by some to be the most beautiful cave network in the world. Formed by 6,000 plus years of waves washing up against calcium carbonate, the smooth, swirling blues of the cavern walls are a reflection of the lake's waters, which change in intensity and hue depending on the water levels and the time of the year. Some of the oldest cultures speak of civilizations inside of vast cavern cities within the bowels of the earth. Mythologies throughout the world, from South America to the Arctic, describe numerous entrances to these fabled inner kingdoms. Many occult organizations, esoteric authors, secret societies, they all concur with these myths and legends of subterranean inhabitants that are the remnants of antediluvian civilizations which sought refuge inside of these hollow caverns inside of the earth. Assuming that the myths are true and the earth is at least partially hollow, how could life survive underground? How would organisms receive the ventilation required to breathe miles below the surface? What would provide the light needed to see? Are there any known sources of sustenance available that could provide for a large human population? My name is Robert Sepper. I'm an anthropologist and now author, and I'd like to invite you to explore some of these mysteries with me in an attempt to unlock their riddles 
which have eluded any serious consideration in mainstream academia. Species with Amnesia, Our Forgotten History, and Gods with Amnesia, Subterranean Worlds of Inner Earth. I appreciate all the positive feedback and I'd like to thank you for listening.